My name is Dr. James Jacob, and we're at the Radiation Oncology Center at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. We're going to spend the next few minutes discussing partial breast irradiation, and I'd like to introduce you to my partners, Dr. Tina Hyken, who's a breast surgeon, and Dr. Sean Park, who's a radiation oncologist. Dr. Park, what is partial breast irradiation? Partial breast radiation uh, employs a special type of technique uh, which delivers the radiotherapy uh, to the lumpectomy area with the normal normal tissue, which is the area at the highest risk of uh, recurrence. So Dr. Hyken, what is the rationale for partial breast irradiation? The rationale for partial breast irradiation is that we have evidence that when a woman has breast conserving surgery for her breast cancer, the area at greatest risk for local recurrence is the same part of the breast from which the initial tumor was removed. So Dr. Park, what are the advantages of partial breast irradiation? The main advantage of uh, partial breast radiotherapy is that uh, it can be delivered over a one week time period as opposed to five, six weeks with the traditional whole breast radiotherapy, which sometimes can be shortened down to uh, three to four weeks. And so is it safe? Uh, more than 10 years of evidence suggests that the uh, efficacy uh, with partial breast radiation is similar to the whole breast radiotherapy uh, in terms of the toxicity profile is slightly different from the whole breast radiotherapy. And Dr. Hyken, is partial breast irradiation right for everybody? We think that partial breast irradiation is a great choice for selected patients. These are patients who tend to be older and have smaller favorable tumors and no evidence of lymph node involvement. We hope this answers some of your questions regarding partial breast irradiation if you'd like to find out more information, please click on the link below or call the Mayo Clinic Breast Center.